tu blusa en pedazos y besar tu cuerpo. The pieces doesn't glue it. Don't stick in the wrap. The glue is very tricky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like this, I know always gonna glue. You're an expert. I got an experience for long, many things I do wrong. You know, when you do a lot of things wrong, get experience. Sometimes I fuck it up, I know it. Every human being. <laughs> at Griffith Park we thought we'd bring this green car out to some greenery definitely very hard to shoot anything in Los Angeles Hollywood which is where we're at but yeah we have Griffith Park we tried to find something the canyons were a little bit crazy we couldn't uh, just park on scene so we went ahead and found this little parking lot uh, can you move away from the so yeah we have Chris Brown Bentley Bentayga right here this is a wide body car we did like maybe two three years ago it went from I don't remember what color the first time but then it went to that brush white with the babe camo on the front and now we did this green color on it. Chris Brown texted us an idea, wanted some greens. He wanted like a two-tone green. We did some renders and we came up with this. The body of the car is gloss army green. And then the body kit and the bumpers are matte army green. This film is from 3M. They don't make a gloss army green. So we went ahead and laminated that and made it gloss. But the matte army green around it does come from 3M. This is the best army green color, the matte army green color. We've been doing it for many, many years. It looks great on the Bentayga. It's very easy to make this car look kind of stupid. The two-tone really works with it. It goes well with the black. We changed the wheels to much cleaner wheels, one-piece wheels, black with the Bentley caps in the middle, super clean. But honestly, yeah, it has a red interior as well. So it's a little bit of a Christmas vibe. Chris Brown always has some epic ideas. Some of them are a little bit crazy. Some of them work really well. And this is one of them. I think it works really, really well with the two-tone green. We're gonna take it back to the shop, do some little revisions. We have a uh, cleaning up to do on it. We lowered it and at the shop we put on super low mode and unfortunately it was too low. The wheel actually hit the flare in the back and lifted the flare off the car. So I'm gonna go back to the shop and actually put it back to the stock height. This is in the lowered driving position. So if we press down on it right now, it's gonna literally break the body kit off. So gotta fix that for him. But like I said, Chris Brown has crazy, crazy taste and this works really, really well. You think you want to yourself when you get old? Look at that, man. That's like in like 30, 40 years. Okay. <laughs> body tesla model x this is the p100d this was a, a client's car that we worked on a few years back and installed a different body kit on it was probably the first model x that we modified and it had like a forged carbon fiber kit on it non-wide body it just had the lip kits and all that stuff and this customer drove this car a lot and eventually hit something on the freeway it broke the front and he opted for a new kit and he wanted to go wide body this time so we ordered this kit it took about a month to get it we fixed all the other little hiccups on the car and we wrapped it in this satin khaki green color which is honestly a dope color we don't do this color often enough in my opinion because uh I don't know if people just go with the army green, but this color works on a lot of cars. You'd be surprised and goes really well with black. That's what the combination of this car is. It's carbon fiber slash black with the khaki green. It has its old temporary wheels on there right now, just spaced out. We made some custom adapters, but a new set of RDB wheels have been designed and are being built. This is gonna be one of the first cars with a new RDB design. We don't know what we're gonna call it yet, but very, very different looking wheels. I'm very excited for that. It's gonna come in about two, three weeks and we're gonna put it on this. We'll reshoot it for you guys and show you the new RDB wheels on it. But yeah, for now it's got some temporary wheels. They don't look too bad, 22 inch. And this car is cool. You know, we just uh, reviewed the Tesla Model X Plaid. You feel like you're in a spaceship in this car and it's really cool, especially this white interior. The Plaid uh, had a black interior, which is also really nice. But yeah, this wide body kit had a lot of pieces, wide body flares, which I haven't seen on this car before. We had to do some tweaks to make it work. It's got a carbon fiber front lip, nice diffuser in the back, side skirts, a wing. It even has these fog light trim covers that go on the front in carbon fiber. So a lot of carbon fiber on it and looks really cool. We all know the Model X is shaped very weirdly, oddly. 
so I'm super happy how it worked out and the car sits wider and all that so you know I want to see it on video from the back too how wide it looks it also has the really really nice adjustable suspension on it which is really amazing because you can go from very high to high to standard to low to very low and super awesome from Tesla that it's adjustable and you could even lock it in low mode and drive so really cool feature from Tesla there but yeah let us know your thoughts obviously we're gonna be having a lot more electrical vehicles coming up that we have to modify so we're gonna to adapt to that we're gonna make more wheels according to that we're gonna make wheel styles that go with the electric vehicles more and then hopefully more body kits where Teslas are more common and it'll be really cool you know so we're gonna adapt a lot of cool stuff coming up but um, hope you guys enjoy this Tesla Model X <music> We're on scene at our old, old photo shoot location, if you could tell. Zumi's over there taking pictures. He's wearing pants for once. But his knee holes are pretty big, so <laughs> if it just goes a little bit more, it turns into shorts. <laughs> but yeah, Zumi's doing his thing. You guys are gonna see crazy photos of that thing. That black beast, that's about a $600,000 vehicle right there. Brand new Rolls-Royce Phantom. It has about 70 miles on there. It is now fully blacked out. Color match trims all over, as you can see. No chrome on the vehicle. The only thing we put on there that's a different color are the wheels. 26 inch wheels right there. Brushed silver with the floating cap original, of course. That thing's crazy. 26s make this car look smaller and it's such a big car, so it's crazy. We've done 24s on these all the time. 24s do look great, but 26s are really the crazy way to do it. All right now the car is in the super low mode. Doesn't drive this way, it's too low. If you drive like this, you're gonna break everything. So we'll raise it back up before we go. However, look how crazy that thing looks. It's got the Mandarin orange full interior and that's really, really rare on this car to have that. Even the headliner is all orange, everything is orange. So when you go from obviously that old black exterior and then you open the door so that full orange interior that's when things get really crazy but look at that i mean that's that's sick but yeah so lowered on 26s it's crazy and this full mandarin orange interior this car optioned out is about 600 grand zoom and joe are hitting each other while we're filming this it has the captain seats in the back which is really cool as well so you could lounge even though this car is that big, when you have people in the front, I mean, you still don't have that much legroom, which is wild to me. I have a Range Rover long wheelbase and it has more room than this car. And yeah, obviously it's got the signature picnic table with the TV. It's got obviously your Rolls Royce glass and the cups. Wait, you could drink in this? I don't know what the law is with this thing, but you're technically supposed to be able to drink, but it doesn't have a partition. So I don't know. You could still get in trouble, I believe, but too bad. It is what it is. And then the refrigerator, which has more glasses. This car is for an alcoholic like Moses. Yeah, this car and Moses, <laughs> full of tequila, would do really well for Moses. <laughs> These seats also have some adjustment. So I can go forward. I could also open this and check myself out with the mirror. Oh, the seat actually comes really forward. And then um, have Joe sit in here in a moment so he can show you guys the view of this. And it's really, really dope actually. The thing that surprises me the most is the cars are ready at 9 a.m. You guys start filming at 5. <laughs> I don't know why. No clue. I don't wake up till 2. So, yeah, you have your life really straight. It's got to be the best job. You wake up at 2. Not only do you wake up at 2, you only work for four hours, three and a half hours. Yeah, and you get a lot, and you get paid a lot of money. Some things are not fair, but uh, good for you, man. You pull it off. You know how to pull it off. Good for you. It's good. I'm very proud of you. I'm a scam artist. Yeah, and you own half of Raging Waters. <laughs> Thank you. 